So, Tiffany, have you met any young American boys yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Well, I've seen many, yes. Um, very cute ones. Me something. Hmm. I was thinking of changing my study program from English language to American history. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is possible? Well, you are talking to the chairman of the um, history department. Oh, but I think you might be able to speak fast. Do you like my beats? Of course you do. We want the beats that go into a club orange to be just right. That's why we look everywhere for the juiciest ones. And how do we know if they are right? We are not only interested in the size of the beats. They'll be shallow. What is important is what's inside too. Like juice. In fact, we choose millions of oranges every year because we like to have some of the best beats in the world. And now we say goodbye. We know you boys can't wait to get your hands on our bits. You studied cultural anthropology? Oh, no. I'm not exactly. It was sex education. Our different cultures are. This eternal mode that I mentioned, time as the moving image of eternity, you are then away from the moving image to exist in this static mode. I believe that this is, uh, is what technology pushes toward, and that there is no opposition between, you know, ecological balance and the people who want to leave the planet and the hyper-technologists and the hyper-naturalists. Uh, all of these are red herrings. The real uh, historical entity which is becoming imminent is uh, the human soul and it is the monkey body has served to carry to this moment of release and it will always serve as the focus of self-image but it will exist uh, in a world made by the human imagination I think I talked about this last time that Phylogideus talks about what he calls a more perfect logos. He says a more perfect logos would be beheld rather than heard. In other words, the formulation you get in the Gospel of John, in Concipio et Verbum et Verbum Cor Fac Domest, in the beginning was the Word. Yes, it was the Word in the beginning, but this is a strange kind of Word. It is a Word which is visually beheld. And the language in which the Gnosis communicates is uh, a language of visual forms such that there is no ambiguity about meaning because there is no recourse to a dictionary of uh, agreed upon signification. It is purely beheld. This is why it's very hard, and one of the main problems of psychedelic drugs is to bring back information because it is hard to English it. And the reason it's hard to English it is because it's like trying to uh, make a three-dimensional rendering of a fourth-dimensional object. <laughs> that was fucking trippy. <laughs>